I decided to conduct a special military operation. Its goal is the protection of the people who, for eight years, suffered from abuse and genocide from the Kiev regime. We urge you to lay down arms immediately and go home. I will explain. All servicemen of the Ukrainian army who comply with this requirement can freely leave the area of military action and return to their families. Whoever would try to stop us and further create threats to our country, to our people, should know that Russia's response will be immediate and lead you to such consequences that you have never faced in your history. Consequences that you have never faced in your history. So here we go again. We're in the year 2022, and it's just like we're living back in the 60s all over again, where Russia is the bad guy, and everyone's talking about the red button and the threat of nuclear war. With all that in mind, in this video, I'm going to show you how to protect yourself, your electronics, your house, maybe even your vehicle from an EMP attack because in the modern day, they don't have to use quote unquote nuclear weapons in order to knock out the power grid or all your electronics, which run absolutely everything that we interact with every single day. So if you wanna find out how to do this and check out all the links that I've supplied for you, you're gonna to wanna to sit back, you're gonna to wanna to relax, and you're going to want to check this out. <laughs> So here we go again, another year and our destiny is in someone else's hands, they tell us. It's just like being back in the 60s. Duck and cover. Paul and Patty know this. No matter where they go or what they do, they always try to remember what to do if the atom bomb explodes right then. It's a bomb, duck and cover. So I'm not really worried about a nuclear weapon going off at all. But what I am concerned about is an EMP. I've watched the Department of Homeland Security's website for years and every single year, multiple times, they warn about a possible EMP strike against the United States and how vulnerable our power grid and our entire way of life is, basically. And yet they never fix it. So an EMP is a real problem. And now, with Russia and the Ukraine, it's all we've been hearing from the mainstream is Putin is going to take down our power grid. Putin's going to take down the internet if Putin and Biden don't get along. Leaving everything in Joe Biden's hands isn't very comforting for most people at all. And I'll tell you what, they don't need to set off a nuclear weapon or an atomic bomb to do an EMP strike. I did a video about this years ago. Back in 2015, where Boeing unveiled this Tomahawk cruise missile basically that could literally do pinpoint EMP attacks on just a building using whatever technology. So if in 2015 we had this technology or Boeing had it, well then all the quote unquote evil access will have it as well. So with all that good news in mind, what can you do if and when the lights go out? You know what I'm saying? Everything we use runs on the internet, electronics, etc., etc. Well, fortunately, there's a lot of things you can actually do, starting with one of these guys right here. This is a Faraday bag. This is a bag that is an RF shielded bag that will protect your electronics. And this particular bag was sent to me by Renee at Off Grid Trek. 
He actually sent me two of these quite a while ago, and I was supposed to review them, but I never got around to it, sadly. So now I am. I gave one of these bags to a couple out in Arizona, and hopefully they're using it as it's intended, and it's not just sitting on a shelf in their garage in front of their red Tesla, hopefully, but it probably is. These bags are very large, incredibly well made, and the Velcro on them is ridiculous. It took me forever to get this thing open for the first time ever. But once I did get it open, these bags are massive. This is a very, very large bag. You definitely get what you pay for. So for an example, I wanted to show you what you can fit in this, for instance. And I started with a Mystery Ranch three-day assault pack. This is one of my bug out bags. It's always in my truck. It's always ready to go. It's a good size bag. It's a three-day assault pack. So it's made for a soldier carrying three days worth of supplies in the field, etc. When I took this bag, the Faraday bag swallowed it up like nothing. I mean, this bag is large. And consequently, I'm going to be giving this bag that you're looking at right now away to one of you guys. And we'll figure out the rules at the end. I think just like, comment, and share. Prove that you shared the video and you're in. How's that? So this particular bag, you could easily fit a desktop computer, all of your electronics, etc., etc., inside it. Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. I've had a, uh, quite a few customers that have emailed, called in the last, uh, say, one to two weeks, asking specifically about items, larger items like the Delta Pro, EcoFlow Delta Pro, Delta Maxes, some other large items. Basically, wanted to know how they can fit into our Faraday bags. Are our Faraday bags big enough? Uh, so that's what I've done is uh, I've got one of my personal Delta Pros here, two Delta Maxes, a couple of Faraday bags, and I'm just going to show you how they fit in, give you a quick description. Uh, just going to be a short video under five minutes and uh, or approximately five minutes and then go over all of that with you. So that's how big these bags are. He was able to fit all that gear into one of these Faraday bags. And again, this is one of the bags that I'm going to be giving away to one of you guys. So there, as they say, is that. But these bags aren't free. They're very well made, they're purpose built, and they're about, I think, around 300 bucks at any rate. If you want to pick one of these bags up for yourself, you can get them at Off Grid Trek. Renee builds these bug out, these Faraday bags, large enough so that you can actually fit your entire solar setup in there so that it does not get hit by an EMP because an EMP will take out a solar panel as well. Many people don't know that. Well, you do now. But there's also other alternatives. And bear in mind, I have zero affiliation with any of these people. I am going to leave you a list on Amazon where I've linked up a bunch of things that you can get that will protect you just to make your life a little easier. And I think maybe I make a couple of cents on every purchase. I don't know because I never push this link. But the stuff that they have to protect you is very, very varied. They've got things to protect electronics, and they've also got things to protect your personal body from RF frequencies, etc. Hoodies, jackets, tinfoil hats, etc. It's funny, but it's where we live right now. Before I made this video, I hooked up with Renee and a couple of other people that I know that are actually experts in this business. You're looking at Renee from Off Grid Trek right now. And I said, dude, all this stuff is great, but how do you prove that it actually works? And he said there's a company called Mission Darkness that does all the extensive testing to make sure that this stuff actually delivers as promised. Meaning, if you put your electronics in there and there's an EMP, which is something you can't hear, see, or smell, you'll know that it protected you. Because otherwise, it's just lights go out, you know what I mean? And Mission Darkness turned out to be a really good resource, and I'm glad Renee pointed me in that direction. For instance, they have a website, and they do military specification RF shielding, which means EMP proof, for so many different law enforcement, military, and civilian applications. It's incredible. But they don't only just make stuff and sell it to you. They show you how to make stuff. They have their own YouTube channel, which I found, and they show you how to make things like a Faraday box. And I mean, they go into pretty good detail with it. And it's fairly inexpensive to make one of these boxes. One of the main components that you do need is RF shielding fabric, which is the only thing that's actually kind of 
expensive, so to speak. But think about all the money you've got into your electronics. Because I, if I start thinking about the money I have in my electronics, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And you're going to want to protect them because in this day and age, most people don't know how to read a paper map. Most people don't know how to keep notes. Most people don't carry a pen and paper. Their emergency kit is a credit card and a cell phone. And they laugh at us. They make jokes. We're preppers. We're survivalists. We're doomsayers. We're the, you know, conspiracy theorists, etc. Well, I'll tell you what. It seems like over the last two years, all the conspiracy theories have come home to roost. And they're just mainstream news. And being attacked by an EMP is one of them. In this video right here, he's showing you how to test out the EMP proofing of your box simply by turning on a transistor radio, placing it in the box, and if you completely lose signal, mission accomplished. Do you see what I'm saying? And there's also videos on how to make an EMP blocker or how to make an EMP device yourself, which I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it is what it is. There is a lot of information on the internet that can show you how to protect yourself. The only problem is you need to take the time to actually research it and follow through with it because it will be over in the blink of an eye. These guys are not kidding. They will not stop talking about this on the news, the mainstream media, etc. I would take that as a harbinger. The video you're looking at right now is a channel I found a couple of years ago called The Prepared Airman. He's a military member and he shows you how to make your bug out bag EMP proof. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, I did all the legwork finding all these links. You're going to have to do all the legwork, click on the links, and then follow through whatever applies to you. For instance, Mission Darkness has pretty much everything you would need to cover yourself personally. Things that you carry on you, things that you work with day to day, duffel bags, all types of things of that nature, data security. They've got backpacks, duffels, small personal packs, tons of molly packs, things that'll cover everything that you would carry on you if you were on the move. But if you're in your house where you want to protect a room or your vehicle or something, you have to go another route. And that route is this way. So follow me. This is one of my favorite blogs right here because it explains everything. It explains what a Faraday cage is, what it does, what it protects from, and what it can protect if you correctly build one. And absolutely everything you need to know is on this particular blog, and I'll leave links below. That's the whole point of this video. I'm leaving you links to bring you where you need to be because I can't stress this enough. I cannot stress this enough. We've talked about this for years on my other channels, and it has now come home to roost. This is now mainstream. When you're hearing presidents of opposing countries using these words, take down the grid, take down the internet, take out the banks, etc. It's time to sit up and take notice. This might be an exercise in futility. You might be prepared for no reason. But being prepared for no reason, you're prepared. If you're not prepared, you're a victim. And when the lights go out and nothing works, gas pumps, toasters, microwaves, televisions, radios, America's not ready for that. Not at all. Well, some of America's ready, but think of all the think of all the insults and joking that's gone on about the Amish people. I'll tell you what, when everything happens, they won't have to make very much adjustment. Now, you can't make an EMP proofing video without showing the EMP shield. These guys approached me maybe eight years ago on YouTube, and I kind of passed on it because they were new. I didn't know very much about it, etc. But I'll tell you what, everybody and his brother has been pawning these things on YouTube, and they work. I've seen some of them taken out by lightning, totally blown apart, etc. But here's the deal, and this is, this is just my personal opinion. These have all been military tested. They've got all the awards, etc. They've done the mil spec testing. But these have been tested against EMP technology that we're aware of. 
there's a lot of things that we wouldn't be aware of whatsoever at all. And if Russia was to ever make a move on the United States that is World War III, we will see technology we've never even dreamed of. So EMP, shield, and devices like it, they're definitely a cheap insurance policy. Definitely. But they're not the only player in the game. There's a lot of different Faraday devices, EMP proofing devices that are available out there. And again, links will be in the description box below the video. That's the whole point of this video. This is a resource for you to use. And if this is a concern of yours, use this resource. This information does no good if you don't act upon it. Do you see what I'm saying? These buildings and these pre-built Faraday cages are great. But I would much rather see you go to a one of the survival blogs and learn how to make one of these things yourself. Because first of all, if you build your own protection, you'll understand what you're protecting against. Do you see what I'm saying? As opposed to just taking a $350 device, plugging it in and saying, I'm good to go. EMP proofing your car, it's next to impossible. And here's the other side of that coin. Trying to EMP proof your car is useless when you can't get gas. All of our gas stations are completely electronic. They don't have any more hand pumps, not that I know of. And you're talking to a guy that drove an 80 series Toyota that got eight miles to the gallon, over 100,000 miles across the United States and back in the last six, seven years. So I've seen all the gas stations. I'd much rather see you learn how to do this on your own with the materials that are available and the information that's available. And again, all the links will be below. Links to uh, blogs like this right here are terrific because, again, it explains everything about it. It explains what you're facing and what you can do. It's sad that we live in a time where we even have to think about things like this. But I'll tell you what, it is what it is. Waiting for someone else to come save you is not the way to go. Not at all, and especially if you have a family. There's way too many alternatives out there to at least make the unthinkable bearable. If the unthinkable happens and you're not prepared whatsoever at all, you're simply a victim and we've seen what happens to victims in the United States. If the entire grid were to go down, nobody's coming for you. And if they are coming for you, they're not the people you want coming for you. Do you see what I'm saying? At any rate. If you want to win that Faraday bag that I showed at the beginning of this video, simply share, like, subscribe, and leave a comment below saying I'm in. That's all I got for right now. Links will be below. Richie from Jailbreak, and I am out.